Well, it's uh, day 61, and uh, it is looking pretty nice. The smoke is all but left. It is gone, so it's going to be nice and clear today. Not quite supposed to be as hot, so uh, I think we're only supposed to hit about 22 degrees. So I'm going to uh, head up the road and try and drag a big log out of the bush. So I'll see if I can't get some video of that. That should be uh, lots of fun. Welcome to Doorback Door Adventures. Adventures. Follow me this summer as I travel the BC Kootenays in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. Well, I'm at the spot where my log is laying. That's my log down there. And the truck is here. So I am going to rig up a cable and try and yard that thing out of there. It's pretty long, so we'll give her a go, I guess. Yeah, that log right there is probably uh, just over a foot in diameter, and uh, she's probably uh, 50, 60 feet long at least, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Plus, it's going uphill here, right up this bank, and up to the truck, so uh, i got to try and get it in between these two stumps, because I can't, I can't afford to have it snare on there, so... Hopefully that'll do it. I'm gonna find out. She's in there pretty good, so I'm going to have to have another look at this. Well, I'm going to have to cut some of this tree, it won't pull it out.
made it. Well, it's out. Sixteen, sixteen steps long, so whatever my step is, I'll measure it later. I'm going to say there's probably a good 35 feet here, and the rest of the tree is still in the, in the ditch. That one uh, section of tree is on the truck. That uh, filled her up quite a bit, actually. I'm not so sure I'm going to bother pulling the other half of that tree today. That's already enough. That's a lot of work. Plus, I wouldn't mind getting back to camp and start getting this stuff split. Uh, it is a little bit wet, so it's going to have to sit. So, yeah, I think that might be the plan. Head back and uh, function on that, I guess. Well, I just couldn't let it be. This is the other half of that tree that's already in the truck, so there's another 25, 30 feet there, I'm sure, so. So it had to come. I couldn't leave it behind. Might as well just get it all and be done with it, so. Well, we are back at camp. Quite an exciting day out in the bush, pulling some logs out of the ditch and whatnot. Uh, as you can tell, the logs are no longer on the truck. They are 
in fact already split and put in a pile over there so it's been quite a day I'm uh, a little exhausted at this point but uh, the wood was a little bit wet so it need to get split right away there's going to be another week or so of uh, really hot weather here yet so that'll give it a chance to dry up a little bit and a couple two three weeks from now uh, should be okay so that was today's uh, excursion. That was pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, it ended, uh, ended up being uh, quite a pile. I'm guessing probably almost three quarters of a cord. So, uh, pretty decent haul today. Yeah, the weather has been uh, quite stellar today, actually. And no smoke. The smoke is completely gone right now. So, we are lucky that uh, we have clear skies again for tonight. So, yeah, bonus deal. Well, there is another big fur laying up there in that same spot that I was today. So, uh, if I feel up to it tomorrow, I might go drag that out too. That's a pretty sizable tree too, maybe not quite as big as this one, but a uh, pretty decent sized tree and it's fur instead of larch. The one I pulled today was larch, so laying in the same area, probably be just about as wet. So, the sooner I get it out of there and split, then uh, the more drying time it has. So. Uh, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. If uh, I get at it, then I'll get at it. So, we'll see what happens. So, well, I got the fire started early again today because I had to burn off some bark again from all this uh, splitting. So, I didn't do anything special to light it. Just uh, threw a match at it. So, Well, stupid me. I didn't pull nothing out of the freezer to eat for tonight. So, I'm going to just have to scramble and put something together, I guess. Whatever. We'll figure something out. Well, today was uh, the real first uh, test on this cable, and it uh, performed quite well. It uh, definitely paid for itself already, so that is the handiest thing I've bought out here, for sure. Well, unfortunately, the cable did get one fray in it already. Must have got snagged on something, but, oh well, it is what it is. You just wear gloves when you work with cable. Well, the sun just went down behind the mountain, and it is 542. So, yeah, the sun's starting to get down earlier and earlier every day. It means less light for the solar, but, yeah, it is what it is. Only for, well, there's larch in there too, but, yeah, it's amazing that sap just puts out the smoke. Now, well, keeping it simple tonight, a little bit of corn and some hot dog, wiener type things, whatever, Johnsonville. And I got potato salad too, so call her good. Well, I'm going to sign off, guys. Uh, pretty exciting day in the bush today, dragging out a big log. But uh, I'm a little bit pooped, so I think I'm going to call her a day. So I uh, hope to see you guys all on day 62. Thanks for watching.